I'm going to talk about uh, group of technical system. Our group member are uh, Javed Naipjaga, Rahul Gujar, Samir, Vatsal Singh. Uh, let's begin from introduction. Uh, renting, also known as the holding of betting, is an agreement where agreement is made for uh, the temporary use of a good service or a property owned by another. Uh, accrues uh, is, is uh, when the tenant pays a flat rental amount and the landlord pays for all property charges are regularly incurred by the ownership. An example of renting is equipment rental. Uh, renting can be an example of the sharing economy uh, purpose. Uh, the purpose of this model is to provide uh, detail to the user recording how the rental system works. It, it uh, provides uh, data on both the side of the system about the property types, the locality, etc. Scope, uh, the, the model deals uh, with the data record required in the property as type of a property, renting and many more. Uh, this is a problem statement. Uh, our company arranges uh, rentals of uh, properties owned by both private and uh, business owners. Uh, we assign every property owner a uh, unique owner number for identification. We record its address, uh, the owner name, uh, the owner email address, and the owner phone numbers. For a business owner, we record the type of its business. Uh, each uh, property is identified by a unique property number. Uh, we record its address and its type. Uh, for uh, uh, each property, maybe placed in several advertisements. Uh, each such advertisement may be uh, displayed in many newspapers on several dates. The newspaper are identified by unique names. The term rental refers to a private person or a business who sign a rental agreement for a property. Uh, each such rental agreement is identified in a word database by a unique rental number. Uh, we record the date of the signing of the rental agreement the starting and eating and data of uh, rental agreement. Uh, a renter can rent many properties. Uh, a renter prior to accepting the rental agreement may view the property repeatedly and we record the date of viewing. Uh, for each renter, we record its address, its name, its email address, and phone number. Uh, each renter has a unique renter number in our database. Uh, our agencies are organized into uh, branches and every staff uh, member is allocated to exactly one branch. Uh, each uh, branch has uh, one manager who is uh, a member of the staff. In our database, uh, we identify, identify the staff uh, by a new staff number. Uh, for each staff member, we record address, name, email address, phone number, sex, position, and salary. Uh, each property is in uh, care of one of our branches. Uh, each renter refers uh, to the branches that is in care of the property it rents. Each property is uh, also by a unique uh, staff a member. Each branch has an address, phone number, and a unique branch number. Uh, this is ER diagram. Uh, ER diagram helps to explain the uh, logical structure of a database. Uh, there are uh, six entities a uh, property, uh, one is a property, property owner, renter, rental agreement, staff, branch. Uh, an entity in database is a real world object that has certain properties called attributes that define the nature of the entity. Uh, each uh, entity has some attribute. An attribute refers to a database uh, company such as a table. It also refers to a database field. Attribute describes the entities in the column of a database. Uh, property has some attribute. Uh, one is just the address, property number, type. Uh, each entity relationship with uh, another entity. Uh, many property owns to one uh, property owner. One property owner owns uh, multiple property. Uh, property owner has uh, some attribute, address, name, owner number, email address, phone number, type. Yeah, this is, and there are uh, address and name or uh, composite attribute. Uh, money uh, property view, uh, money renter. Money renter view, uh, multiple property. Uh, this is money to money. A uh, renter rents uh, multiple property. Multiple uh, property rents to one uh, renter. It's a uh, one to money, money to one. Uh, here, renter also has some attribute address, name, renter number, email address, phone number. Uh, renter sign a rental agreement. Rental agreement has uh, renter number, signing date, editing date, uh, starting date.
property under the branch. Uh, branch has some uh, attribute at least for number, manager, then number. Uh, branch uh, allotes to multiple stuff. Um, there are uh, some attribute email, uh, email address, phone number, address, stuff number, salary, name. Uh, stuff number, stuff, stuff number is a uh, key attribute. Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about EER, which also stands for Extended ER. So let's talk about first what is EER. EER is a high level data model that incorporates the exp extensions to the original ER model. Enhanced ER are high level models that represent the requirements and complexities of complex databases. And talking about the ER, there are three features of ER, which also which are as follows, generalization, specialization, and aggregations. Now we are going to talk about the ER diagram that we do. As you can see, the personal entity here shows relationship between the renter, property owners, staff, and the property. As you can see, there are many branches to the property and as follows to the renter and the staff. The person entity has many attributes such as email address, phone number, name, and so on. The person entity subsets are renter, property owner, staff. This shine shows that the, these are the subsets of the following entity. As you can see, the renter and staff entities have a bottom up and top down approaches, respectively. Talking about the renter entity, the renter entity has an attribute which is renter number, that is a primary key in this one. It shows entity relationship between the rental agreement, that is, relationship is one to one. The rental agreement has attributes rental number, signing date, ending date, and starting date. In this also the rental number is a primary key. Moving on to the rental key, the rental key shows the relationship with the properties as the rents. That's relation is one to many. Property property entity has many relation many attributes such as phone address, phone number, email address, address, address can be street, street number, city, province. And pro 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 property entity has subsets such as firm, apartment, room. Now same as the stuff staff entity which has which has which has attributes as staff number sex salary here the staff number is the primary key the staff entity shows relation to the branch which relations as lots to and this relation is many to one the relation can be shown from the property as to the newspaper about the advertisement of the property. The advertise shows that the date and the advertisement number has attributes. Advertisement number can be primary key. And newspaper in the newspaper relation, the paper name is the entity. Hello everyone. Now we'll discuss about the schema of our project. Here we have total nine entities and we'll go through them one by one. So first entity we are discussing is renters, which has renter number as primary key first name, last name, email, phone, house number, city, and rental number, which is acting as a foreign key, which is taking reference from rental agreement's primary key, which is rental number. Let's now talk about another entity, which is properties. Now, property has property number as primary key, house number, city, property type, rental number, which is acting as a foreign key and which is taking reference from renter's table. Then we have owner number, which is also acting as a foreign key and taking reference from owner number from property owners. Then we have branch number, which is also a foreign key, which is taking reference from branches. So rental number here means uh, the person who rents this property and owner number simply means the owner of the property and branch number means um, under which branch this particular property is now we'll talk about another entity which is property owners which has owner number as a primary key first name last name email phone number house number city now we'll talk about views entity which has renter number as a foreign key which is taking reference from renters table and then we have property number also as a foreign key which is taking reference from property table so now this is actually a many to many relationships since a renter can view any property now we'll talk about another entity 
which is newspaper newspaper has only one attribute paper name as a primary key now we will discuss about advertisements entity which has paper name as a foreign key which is taking reference from newspaper entity then we have property number acting as a foreign key which is taking reference from property entity then we have add date so this is a many to many relationship since a property can be placed as an add newspaper now we'll look to another entity which is branches which is branch number as a primary key email phone house number city manager uh, then we have staffs as an entity which has staff number as a primary key first name last name email phone house number city sex salary and branch number now here branch number is acting as a foreign key which is taking reference from branches entity so now we'll look through code for creating tables that we saw in a schema here uh, i've used command create table table name that is rental agreement then here we have attributes and their data types with some constraint we have created renters table property owners with their following attributes and so on now we will see the code for inserting data into tables that we saw in the schema uh, here i have used insert into table name which is rental agreement the column name or attribute in which data we are inserting then here is the value or set of data that we are inserting here these are the signing date starting and ending date so in the same way i have inserted data into all the other tables like renters property owners newspaper and so on now we will be discussing the queries part so the first query is how many rental agreements are signed after year 2020 for this query select star from rental agreements where signing date is greater than 2020 on executing this query we get the output as the rental number 4 5 6 these rental agreements are signed after the year 2020 now the second query is how many males and females work in branch number 2 and the average salary of their employees. For this query, select sex, count sex, average salary from select star from staffs where branch number is equal to two and group by sex. On executing this query, we get the output. The average salary of the males are 24,250 and the average salary of females are 26,000. The third query is Find out the third highest paid employee. For this query, select first name, last name, salary from staffs S1, where two is equal to select count distinct salary from staffs S2, where S2 salary is greater than S1 salary. On executing this query, we get the third highest paid employee from the database. Now the fourth query is find out the property number of properties which are signed after year 2015 and whose owners belongs to Sonipat city. For this query, select property number from properties where rental number in select rental number from renters where rental number in select rental number from rental agreements where signing date is greater than 2015 and owner number in select owner number from property owners where city is equal to Sonipat. On executing this query, we get the output as property number 3. That means that property number 3, we get the output as the property number 3. That means the owner of the property number 3 is belong to Sonipat and the property was signed after the year 2015. Now the fifth query is give property number of properties which are in Sonipat and their advertisements are made in Denik Bhaskar newspaper. For this query, select property number city from properties where city is equal to sonipat and property type is equal to 5 bhk and property number in select property number from advertisements where paper name is equal to denning bhaskar on executing this query we get the output as the property number six thank you